You guys did a lot of a lot of noise work. I mean, starting in the preseason, <coughs> did those kind of moments help you guys when you go on the road because oh, you're yeah, used no to doing doubt. silence? No doubt. You know, when we went to Kansas State, that was real. They fans was loud. You know, they take what we do at practice with the music and the crowd. I know us. So we have a practice to help out a lot before we can, you know, be on rhythm. And that's one big thing Coach Mel's on make sure we do. Sammy, what was it uh, with some of the overthrows? I guess from Kansas State and some of that kind of stuff, where you were just fingertips away. I mean, what do you attribute to kind of just that little dip difference? Because you seem to make that up in this last one. You know, it just you know missed opportunities for both me and Nick. You know, it's just one of the things that happened. You know, every quarterback have every wide receiver have that. You know, it's just something you just got to go past and just look for the next play. Does Does Nick turn it up another level when you go against an LSU or Mississippi State? Uh, Nick bring Nick bring something special to the game every time you step on that field. You never know what to expect from him. He a playmaker. He gonna do something great every time you got the ball in his hand. That's what we like about him. That's why we we play for him every time we go on that field. What is it about this game against Mississippi State that's made it so tough on these last few years? You know, it's just Mississippi State. They're a great team. They come out there and give you their best every time. They're a physical bunch, and we gotta go out there and just be prepared for what they gonna bring to us. We know they gonna come out fired up because they five and zero, and we five and zero. It's gonna be one of them hard knocking games. We gotta be ready for it. What do you remember specifically about last year's game against them? Oh, man, it was a physical game. They came prepared. They came playing their butts off. They came to prove a point. They wanted to beat us, and we just had to fight our way to the end. It came down to the last play, and that's what we got to expect this game because they're going to come with it at home. Sammy, how much do you feel like your ability to stretch the field and really kind of uh, expand the defense uh, is going to help this offense uh, expand as well? We saw it last night, but we haven't really seen it up until that point. You know, this is one thing about the offense, you don't know what to expect. You know, we can go deep, we can throw a shot, we can run the ball on you. So it's just one of the things Coach Miles going to bring out. You know, he gonna, he going to come out there with his game plan. He's either going to come out running, running on you, or he'll come out and throw it on you. We can do either one with Nick throwing the ball the way he's throwing it and the way we're running it. It's whatever. So, we, as he has the last two games now, scrambling around a lot back there. What does that do to two or four receivers? You know, for us, you know, you see a quarterback can do that, get out the pocket and still make plays. It helps out, help us out and help him out. You know, he still can make plays when you're outside the pocket, running around, throwing the ball 65 yards down the field. You know, it just keep our offense balanced and keep all the defense on their toes. What do you do every day to try to make sure your knee is 100% on Saturdays? You know, I just go through the – just go to treatment every day. Even if I'm not hurt, if I'm hurt, I'm just going to treatment anyway. And there's one thing about playing football, you don't get nicked and bruised. You just got to keep getting treatment. That's what we do every day, all the stuff. You feel like you're back to that speed we saw last season yet? Oh, man, I'm getting that <laughs> day by day process. Sam, when you talk to some of the other uh, your teammates after the game, they, they said that you kind of been struggling a little bit. You want to contribute. You want to be a big part of the offense. And maybe physically you couldn't. Have you ever hurt this last few weeks to try to get back to that point? You know, it's just like I go out there, I, I try to help my help the team. 
team out any way I can. Um, if I can't run a deep route, I'm going to go out there and block my butt off. You know, it's one thing a team teammates do for each other. You're going to play for each other no matter what's going on with your body. You're just going to fight through it. That's one thing we learned as a team. We had to be tough. That's one thing we talk about, toughing together. That's what I push to every day. I don't care if I'm hurting or pain. I'm going to go out there and just give them all. Nick's, Nick's a quiet guy because I think he wouldn't – say it in these kind of words, but do you think he gets a little motivated when the other quarterbacks get in the hype talked about so much that it's kind of show what he can do as well? Oh, man, I don't think Nick pay attention to nothing going no. on outside of, outside of Auburn. You know, he one of the guys that he bring us up. He one of the guys that don't worry about nothing on the outside world. He just come out there and just be ready to play. Coach last talked about giving him more responsibility. You see him now, you know, signaling back to the sidelines going, let's do this. Have you seen him take on more of that responsibility oh, in offense? Hey. Nick a great leader. He go out there and see what he see with the defense. But he got so smart back there. He knew what's going on. He read the defense good. He doing a great job letting the coach know what, what, what we can run and what we can't run. And that's really helping our offense. It's helping Malazan and Coach uh, Red uh, a whole lot. So the way he playing right now is, is unbelievable how much he came along from last year just how, coming into the system. How much does that give you guys confidence when you see your, your quarterback, you know, talking about, hey, this is what we need to do? Oh, uh, that's big. You know, he one of those guys that, you know, when he sees something, he can make a play from it. You know, he see a guy on the defense can't they can't stop him, he can make a play from it. You know, that's one kind of guy he is. He's just a playmaker and we just build around him.